Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about something that I believe does not get a lot of discussion in the bowling industry um, for, I don't know why to be honest with you, but we're going to talk about the three different laydown zones that you can use to implement into your bowling game to help you change your ball reaction. Now I'm sure a lot of you who've bowled realize that there's a set of dots at the foul line, a set of dots just past the foul line, and then of course you've got the arrows all the way out at 15 feet. What a lot of people don't know is these three different areas can be used as visual targets to lay your bowling ball down either earlier or later on the lane to get the ball to basically have a different reaction. A lot of the times it's just as easy as changing your lay down point to get that ball from leaving something like a week 10 or maybe be a stone 7 or a stone 9 to actually carrying a strike. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take you out on the lanes and I'm gonna show you how those three different zones on the lay down area of your ball can affect your ball reaction. Okay guys, so as you can see there, I was using the three different lay down zones to change the reaction of my ball. And that first shot, you saw me lay the ball down pretty much at the foul line. What that causes as far as your reaction is it's going to cause your ball to read as soon as it possibly can. What that translates into when it gets to your break point is basically smooth shape or smooth motion, if you will, off of that break point. So a slow response. Now, as you can see there on that shot, the ball read so much of the lane that when it came off the spot, it basically was out of energy, didn't kick really hard, left me a pocket 5-7. Shot number two, you saw that I got the ball a little bit further out onto the lane, pretty much right at the second row of dots past the foul line. And what that is going to cause is the ball is going to delay its hook. It's not gonna read the lane as early as it did before because the ball can't hook in the air, of course. What that's going to translate into when it gets to its break point is a little bit harder or quicker response off the break point to the pocket. And as you can see, I got to the pocket, but I left a stone seven pin. And then of course, on the last shot you saw, I was trying to get the ball as far out on the lane as possible. I was targeting the arrows. I'm not exactly the greatest at lofting all the way to the arrows. It's something I'm working on to put into my game, but I got pretty close. I got, I would say about six inches or so just be, uh, before the arrows with my lay down point. And of course what that causes is the ball's gonna retain even more energy, which translates into a sharper response off the break point. And as you can see, I got to the pocket with greater carry because that response was harder into the pocket. So I carried the strike that time. Hopefully this helps you guys understand how changing your lay down point on the bowling lane can help you change your ball reaction without having to do anything with your hand. During that entire time, I was using the same hand position as I laid the ball down. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.